Good morning, friends. Welcome to Children's Church. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am so glad that you are here. We have been learning about what? We've been learning about the books of the Bible. That's right. And last week, we heard the story of Joshua. Joshua was the leader of the Israelite people after Moses. Moses had brought them out of slavery in Egypt and led them as they wandered through the wilderness for a long, long time. And Joshua helped to lead the people to their new home. God told the people that they didn't need a king just yet, but God raised up judges for the people. These judges were people that would help lead in battles and they would help to settle arguments or disagreements that people had. They would give people advice. So our story today is about one of these judges. Her name was Deborah, and Deborah used to sit under a palm tree. So I brought a plant to kind of visualize what it would be like to see Deborah sit under the palm tree. And she would sit in the shade during the day, and people would come to Deborah to get advice and to have her help settle their arguments because she was such a wise leader. Well, Deborah helped someone in our story today. Listen while I read you this story from the Family Time Bible. Barak was a leader of God's army. God said Barak should take 10,000 soldiers to fight a battle at Mount Tabor. God promised to help him win, but Barak was timid. What does timid mean? It means kind of nervous or not quite sure. Have you ever felt that way? Maybe when you're playing a game or when you're doing something new and you feel like you're not quite sure about it. Who helps you when you feel that way? Well, Barack said he would not go into battle alone. He knew he needed some help. So he wanted Deborah, the wise judge, to accompany him. He told Deborah, I'm not going unless you go with me. All right, said Deborah, I'll go. But you won't get credit for winning the battle. Barak gathered 10,000 soldiers and went to Mount Tabor. Of course, Deborah also went. Barak, Deborah, and the soldiers in God's army looked down from Mount Tabor. They saw 900 iron chariots and enemy troops crowding around their wicked leader. Barak and Deborah waited patiently on the mountain. Finally, God told Deborah it was time to attack. So Barak led his soldiers down the mountain. During the battle, God confused the enemy troops. The wicked leader jumped out of his chariot. Horses pulled the chariots in many different directions, so they crashed into one another. The enemy soldiers didn't know which way to turn. And just as God promised, even though Barak was timid, his soldiers won the battle. But as Deborah promised, he did not get credit for the victory. So in this Bible story, who is Deborah? Who is Deborah? She is a judge for the Israelites. And who did Deborah help in our story? Deborah helped Barak. That's right. When he was nervous and timid, she went with him to help him. Who helps you when you need it? Are there people in the community, in your school, and in your family that help you when you need it? Let's have a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us helpers. When we are nervous, excited, scared, or happy, 
Thank you for the wise people who guide us. Help us be more and more like Jesus. Amen. Okay, so check out your activities in your packet. The Punch family is about to share some with you. But you can also make a palm tree that you can sit under using the palm cutout leaf in your packet. All right, friends, I'm so glad to be with you today. I want us to think for just a minute about what do we want to give in our offering this week to give back to God. We want to say thank you for all of the blessings that God gives us by giving a little bit back to God. Think this week, what do you want to do for your offering? What will you give to God? Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God all creatures here below. Praise God above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm so glad to be with you today. Stay tuned for some activities with the Punch family. Westminster families, we are the Punches. This is Charlie, this is Claire, and this is Anna. And today we are working on our activities from the story about Deborah. Um, first, we would like to start with a little prayer. If everyone could close their eyes and bow their heads. Dear God, sometimes I'm very brave, like when I do something I'm really good at. Sometimes I'm hesitant or afraid, like at night when it's dark in my room. However, I feel I know you will help me, and that makes me feel happy. Amen. So in the story that Miss Lauren read to you today, you learned about a judge named Deborah, and Charlie is showing you what Deborah used to sit under. Charlie, what is that? A palm tree. A palm tree, and he is drawing Deborah as a judge. I'm drawing the judge. And some people coming up to get advice from Deborah. And Claire and Anna have chosen a different activity today. They are drawing a portrait of someone that they believe to be wise. And they are writing reasons as well about a woman in their life who they think um, that they can go to for advice and they consider very kind. Girls, would you like to share? Yes, this, I'm not a very good artist, but this I drew of my mom because I think um, she is very wise. And I think she's brave, she's kind, loving. And I'm doing the same. Thank you, guys. Have fun doing your activities at home, Westminster families. Bye. Bye. Bye.